Hello, welcome to Brasher Wagon. Today we're playing some Railroad Online. You're joining me after I've already done a little bit of the game. I've done track layout. Um, I went ahead and spent the starting funds that I had, the 2,000, on as many flat carts as I could get. And that got us six flat cars. Um, we've got one more run and we have the log pond filled at the sawmill. So we're going to go ahead and take off and do that right now. The goal of this episode is to get enough money so that way we can get 10 total flat cars. And we're going to try to get that Eureka as the next engine. Um, that's going to be our dedicated log hauling engine. Um, when we're all said and done, we'll put Betsy back at the yard and we'll just run with the Eureka. Now for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and do a montage time lapse breakdown thing of the runs that I'm going to do to the log camp, back to the sawmill pond, back to log camp, and then eventually back to the freight depot. Just finishing up here at the freight depot, dropping off the last of the logs. I went ahead and I bought two more flat cars, which brings our total up to um, nine total. Uh, so we have the original starting one, and then we just added number 107 and number 108 to our train. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get those hitched up. Now the reason I'm numbering these uh, train cars 101, 102, etc. It's going to be the first digit in the number, so one, referencing the tier one flat car. Tier two is going to be a 200 series, so on and so forth with each tier, getting the uh, the number of the tier that it's in for each car, basically. Um, and then the final number being designated one, two, three as the, the, the car in the order that I bought them. Once we get all hooked up, we should be able to, to make a few more runs, and that's going to help us 
get that last little bit of money we're going to need to get the Eureka. Um, the reason I'm going with the Eureka is it's relatively decently priced. Um, it doesn't have crazy tractive effort, but it's a, it's a locomotive that I think would be perfect uh, for just hanging out at the sawmill and then running up to the log camp when we need logs to bring them back down. Um, and since most of my track that I have going up to the uh, log camp is only a 1% grade, uh, I shouldn't have any issue pulling uh, 10 cars up it um, because all downhill is going to be pretty easy with that going down. I mean, if Betsy could do it, then I'm pretty sure that the Eureka could do it too. We're going to go ahead and release the brake on this last car here and get underway. Just like I did before, we're going to do another time-lapse montage type of thing. Help uh, speed up the, the process. Uh, normally, these runs take anywhere between, I don't know, 15 minutes to load the logs, and then you still got all the driving time. So we're looking at 45 minutes to an hour just to get two runs completed here. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out, speed up time for you, and, and help the video flow a little bit smoother. So we'll see you after we get those runs done. And uh, we'll close out the video.
and we're just finishing up here at the freight depot um, get up here and we're gonna stop Betsy real quick um, after that run that should definitely put us up and over what we're gonna need to get the Eureka um, and also the, the remaining cars that we're gonna need to give us the 10 total cars um, let me hop off of here and we'll find out real quick what it is that we ended up with yeah, 3710 definitely puts us over since we only need 2900 for the Eureka so I want to say thank you for joining me today um, in our first foray into uh, Railroads Online um, and hopefully I'll see you next time thank you for watching